No red carpet at federal court in Manhattan, but that didn't keep the cameras away. Oscar-winning actor Michael Douglas was here to learn the fate of his son, Cameron Douglas, charged with dealing drugs. A father's plea for mercy in the form of a five-page handwritten letter. I love my son, the actor wrote, but I'm not blind to his actions. This was Michael Douglas's last shot at keeping his son out of prison and getting him into rehab. For decades, Cameron has been battling drugs and the law. July last year, the law caught up with Cameron again. He was arrested here at the trendy Hotel Gansevoort in New York City and charged with dealing 500 grams of methamphetamine and five kilograms of cocaine. Cameron pleaded guilty to the charges. He was facing up to 10 years in prison. In dozens of letters to the court, friends and family painted the picture of a boy under pressure, growing up in the shadow of his celebrity father and grandfather. Referring to his own father, veteran actor Kirk Douglas, Michael told the judge, I have some idea of the pressure of finding your own identity with a famous father. Cameron's mother told the judge, My son felt defeated before he could even get out of the gate. Michael Douglas admits he was absent when his son was growing up, too busy making movies. Then at 13, Cameron was sent to boarding school and started smoking marijuana. According to his lawyers, he longed for family and an identity, and after his parents divorced, he found the next high. First, cocaine, then heroin, injecting himself as often as six times a day. He called his fellow addicts his family. When you call your, your drug addict friends your family, it means, literally, th this is where I fit in. These are the people that are going to stand by me. Cameron's father also tried to sway the judge by reminding him addiction runs in the family. Michael Douglas was treated for alcohol addiction. His brother died of a drug overdose. You're going to learn from that, and, and you're already genetically pre-wired, so it, it's, it's a scary proposition. Cameron has been in jail for the last nine months, and according to his father's letter, he's been sober longer than any time since he was 13. Before sentencing, Cameron Douglas apologized, saying he decided to take the right path. Minutes later, the judge sentenced him to five years in prison, drug treatment if available. The judge told the court the letters didn't acknowledge the impact on victims of society for dealing drugs. Michael Douglas held back tears. Cameron's mother cried. Their son left the courtroom without a word. Just one final glance at his parents. After all these years, he had their full attention. Randy Kay, CNN, New York.